Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Monday. Monday is the beginning of a brand new week. Oh my goodness, come on, let's get this walk on. Get a thousand steps in at least. This is Gigi, and this is Walking with Gigi. Thank you for joining me this morning. Wherever you're watching me from, I always like to give a shout out to those of you that are watching in Kenya, those of you watching in Sweden, Canada, and especially the good old United States. Good morning. I hope you had a great weekend here in the 757. It was a hot weekend, but a very nice weekend. And uh, we had a wonderful time at our church, Grace and Twine Ministry. And I think a uh, few people went out to the beach and stuff yesterday. <laughs> um, but we thank God for everyone that came. We even had visitors yesterday. And also we had a delicious uh, salad Sunday. Oh my goodness, everybody brought all the fixings. I know I enjoyed my salad. It was just delicious. And thank everybody at Grace and Twine Ministries for contributing to that. Oh my goodness, but this is an awesome, awesome day. Um, the wind is just right. Not too hot yet, it's gonna get hot. So that's why I'm gonna get this walk on today because this is the day that the Lord has made and we're rejoicing and we're glad in it. My gem nugget for today, uh, reading our daily bread devotional today and it's encouraging us to make every moment count, especially when it comes to letting somebody know about the good news about Jesus Christ and he came to save. You know, um, as I was listening to the news this morning, um, wow, it's so sad. Uh, there were six shootings over the weekend and out of those six shootings, four people lost their lives. And you know, my thoughts is always those people that um, lost their lives, did they get a chance to hear about the good news of Jesus? Did somebody share that with them? Because we never know uh, when things are going uh, to happen. And we, especially those of us that have been called, because I believe if we took um, the, every moment that we can to let somebody know about the good news of Jesus Christ, that he can save. That really a lot of these tragedies that we hear would not even happen. You know, they were sharing the story um, in our daily bread about a pastor. His name was Pastor John Harper. And as the Titanic was going down in April of 1912, first of all, he secured a lifeboat for his six-year-old daughter. He wanted to make sure she was safe. He took his life vest and gave it to some other passenger. And then he went around swimming from one person to another and said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shall be saved. Y'all know that comes from Acts 16.31. He swam around letting everybody know he was uh, asking them to believe. And then later on, as years went by, he did not survive. But those that later on years, this person, he called himself the last convert of John Hopper because he said, you know, before that happened, John had been uh, asking them to believe, but they didn't, you know, he didn't, this particular one, he did not pay him any mind. But when it, the time came, he gave his life to Christ as that ship was going down because of Pastor John Harper. You know, our days are limited. All of our days are limited. You know, especially when I look at where I'm at now, I'm on the other side of 50, <laughs> over halfway a uh, hundred. We want to make every moment count, especially those of us that have been called to be ministers and evangelists and so forth. I want to make it count. That's why I thank God for this opportunity. 
every morning sharing with you, um, you know, inspiration and encouragement, especially the good news of Jesus Christ. I know everybody's not going to listen and hear, but I, we have to make the effort because you never know. Uh, one of these mornings, it might seem insignificant to uh, the majority of you that are listening, but if one person, if one person in all of these walks would give their lives to Christ and make a decision, it would be all worth it to me. And I know more than one have, have made that decision from the results of sharing, not just myself, but even my husband, Pastor James Gilmore Sr. And I just thank God for this medium. You know, the scripture that I want to base this on is um, 2 Timothy 4 and 5, because Paul, uh, Paul was getting ready to leave. He knew he was getting ready to be executed. But every, um, every opportunity he had, even in jail, he wanted to let people know about the saving, uh, saving power of Jesus Christ. And so he charged his protege, Timothy. He started like this. He says, um, in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and in view of disappearing in his kingdom, I give you this charge. He told young Timothy, preach the word. Be prepared in season and out of season. Correct, rebuke, and encourage with great patience and careful instruction. For the time will come when people will not put up with sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear. They will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myths. But here it is, verse 5. But he said, and I'm telling you, those of you that have been called, but keep your head in the truth. Oh, excuse me. But keep your head in all situations. Endure hardship. Do the work of an evangelist. That's what I'm doing right now. Discharge all the duties of your ministry. Keep your head up. I like that song by Earth, Wind, and Fire. Keep your head to the sky. Keep your head focused on Jesus Christ, even in all situations, and especially as a child of God. Do the work of an evangelist because every moment counts you don't know what how it might affect someone else so keep your head to the sky keep your head in all situations endure hardship do the work of an evangelist discharge all the duties of your ministry now you don't have to uh, get out here and do a video every morning like I do, but when the situation presents itself, when you come in contact with people, when you are just going along your everyday life, let your life be a message to other people that they should give their lives to the Lord. I know it will make a difference. I know it will make a difference. That's all evangelist is, is demonstrating and telling of the good news of Jesus Christ. That's all it is. So, um, make every moment count. Make every moment count. That's my gem nugget for today. I want to remind you to subscribe to the gem nugget channel. All right, we're at 16,000 subscribers and growing. Oh my goodness. Will you be blessed? and make every moment, every moment, every moment count. Oh my goodness. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.